Hi. Um, well, yeah, I was fine today, uh, because I was, like, alone in, in the house, but then, like, oh my god. Then my dad came home, and to be in the mental insane case, <laughs> okay, being the mentally insane mental person that I am, <laughs> I flipped shit, and I was, like, suddenly in this, like, shitty mood, and I was, like, screaming like I was in a insane asylum. I was, like, ah! you know, I was, like, throwing pillows around and stuff like that. What is wrong with me? Oh, my word. I feel like I've been really crazy lately, like, inside, at least. I've been acting as normal as I can, like, as much as I can. Keeping it all inside, but literally, I've been so emotional inside. You have no idea. It's not just lately, it's the past year or so. It's in plus, like, honestly. Ah! I'm, but I'm alone again now. My dad went out. And, you know, now I'm going to be not alone again because people are going to come home soon because it's almost five. And obviously a lot of shifts end at like five and that's the uh, rush hour traffic. And my mom's going to come home and my brother's going to come home and my dad's going to come home later probably. You know, he's going to work a little more. But I was like so happy because I thought I was going to be alone for the whole day and I was going to be able to do all my creative pursuits and be a Pisces moon that needs a lot of space and to like be, be a dreamer, a daydreamer and shit like that. Like, oh my god. But, uh, he walked in and I was like, no! Like I was in such a good mood too. I feel like so bad for my actions though, but... Like, I need the alone time. I don't even know how to describe it. I feel so bad for saying all this. Oh my god. But this is my channel, and I started this channel to vent all this bull crap. so. There you go. <laughs> like, Pisces Moons, they're like so, you know, like, really, um, they have so many ideas and so many thoughts, and they honestly, like, carry, they're the last sign in the zodiac, uh, zodiac, so they carry, like, traits of every single sign, so they carry the burden, uh, so, so be, as it shall be, I don't know, <laughs> of every other sign, like, they have a little bit of all the traits in them, so they are so understanding of everybody, and everything, and they're really, really empathetic, and intuitive, and they really are, like, psychic, and, you know, like, they really feel deeply, and, like, it's like this flowing river, these waters of, um, like, you know, intense emotion, and, um, it contrasts so much with my, it's like a water sign, and it contrasts with the Leo moon, the Leo, Leo moon, the Leo sun, which is, um, you know, the fire sign, and the Virgo ascendant, which is, uh, earth sign, and, you know, it's just kind of weird, at, like, sometimes having that weird combo, <laughs> like a Leo, like the moon is who you are inside, so it's, like, deep, man, like, I see my Pisces moon more active than any other sign I have. Other than the bit of Capricorn in me that's pretty... And the Virgo. The Virgo, actually, that might be, like, how it's... I'm, like, really practical when I'm, like, judging people, kind of. And maybe that's why... Maybe that's where my Ascendant in um, Virgo comes in. But anyway, uh, as I was saying about the Pisces moon, they're really creative. And they have so many thoughts, and they have so many things, so many directions that they can go in, so many interests. That fits me so well, because, like, my interests are never-ending, and I, like, literally, like, kind of, I don't know, I, I don't really have a direction that I want to go in, like, 
I do, but like I have so many directions that it's hard to find a direction, and that's why it's like good to find people when you're a Pisces moon that like kind of like bring you down to earth or whatever, or bring you like kind of like to a direction kind of. But at the same time, Pisces moons are the kind of people that can like become who they are. So in that sense, they're like a chameleon. They kind of like become who they're with or whatever. So that's kind of like a negative, I guess, but. Um, at the same time, I don't really do that. Like, I always kind of, um, stay true to myself, I guess. I don't know. It's so confusing. And that's how I know I'm a Pisces moon. Like, that's how you, you're a Pisces, you know you're a Pisces moon when. <laughs> and I've found a lot of those. Because honestly, I don't even, I have like so many thoughts, like, going through my mind at once. And, yeah, this is actually where I filmed, like, my first two videos. My first two vlogs, but whatever. Um, <laughs> um, yeah. I was gonna do a makeup tutorial, or a makeup showing, whatever. <laughs> and then I was gonna do, I also had an idea to do that speed sketch thing that I wanted to do like 50 million years ago of a new banner in my room because I took down the one that I had up since like 2008 literally um and um yeah so as you see I have like a brilliant a brilliant <laughs> ideas all the time but yeah <laughs> and sometimes I just hate myself and the way I look and everything it's just bleh, all over but this video wasn't even going to be about that. What the hell? This video was going to be about Alice through the looking glass. <laughs> but, um, being a Pisces moon, I'm also kind of, I'm not fickle, okay? But, like, I'm not always reliable with my moods. Like, my moods swing so much. And I hate that about myself. But it's true now that I think about it. I never thought of myself as a fickle person. I'm not. Like, especially in relationships, I take those so seriously, dude, that you won't even, like, you can't even understand. Like, I'm so... Okay, that's a, a conversation for another day, but... <laughs> How long is this video gonna be? I don't know. But... Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, I was through the looking glass. Now, as I was, like, researching for this, I started researching movies that play with time. As you know, that's, like, my favorite type of movie. It's It ties into, like, sci-fi and the big branch of things and the big genre of things. It ties into sci-fi and fantasy. But more specifically to my interests, movies that play with time is what I like. Because I like movies that are, like, maybe, like, time travel movies uh, specifically. But... It doesn't even have to be travel. It, it could be like just movies that have time as a or history or the future or the past or the now <laughs> as a theme, and because uh, they make for really amazing films. Some of them, like horror ones, I, I can't. I just can't take. I, I don't do horror. Uh, I just can't. It's just I don't know how anybody could like horror, but. Some horror that's like, like low impact creepy. Like kind of like no gore basically. No gore and no like, uh, like unnecessary blaspheming and um, like no, uh, like, I don't know, intense violence I guess. Like, and, like, some creepy shit I can't handle, like, just some stuff is just kind of too much for me. Um, but yeah. Um, but I, I was doing a li I started actually doing a list of movies that play with time and stuff like that. But I'm gonna do a whole move, uh, a whole, um, video on that because that's a huge topic. As I said before, I think I said before that I wanted to do a whole video on that. And, um, but this is going to be a, and I'm going to mention a few, at least, um, in this video about Alice Through the Looking Glass, the new Alice in Wonderland movie, 
that came out May 27th. I was actually going to do the video about this on that night, but that was the night I was researching all this crap. And yeah, this video is going to be about that. It's a 2016 film, obviously. It came out on May 27th. Uh, the genre is fantasy and adventure. It also calls it family on IMDb. But it's uh, rated PG. And it's an hour and 53 minutes long or 100, 113 minutes. And then, well, my rate, my pre-rate, I haven't seen it yet, but my pre-rate, it looks like 8.5 to me. Because it looks like that good. I think I would really enjoy it. It looks like a little creepy. A little. <laughs> a little creepy. And. 